Hey everyone, in this video we'll be showing you a new feature in Digital Factory Build 8, the use of actions. Actions are an easy way to set up automation for repetitive tasks. You will learn how to create an action, how to apply an action on import, how to apply an action to a job that is already in the queue, how to apply an action to copy group layouts, how to apply an action with an area fill, and finally, how to delete actions. To create an action, we'll first need to import a job into a queue and apply all the settings you want to store as an action. For this example, I would like to have 12 copies on a sheet. In the job tab to the bottom right, I'll select copies, then select three rows and four columns. I'll then put a quarter of an inch for horizontal space between the columns and a quarter of an inch for vertical space between the rows. Finally, I select my desired print mode. Now, to save this as an action, right click on the job and select actions, then create an action from the flyout menu. I'll name this action 4x3 centered. In this action, I want to save the print mode and the fixed size. And for position, I want it centered horizontally with the number of page copies and to copy group layouts. To finish, I'll press OK. To see how an action is applied to a job, import a file into the queue, making sure that Auto Nest is not selected. Go to the job in the queue, right click Select Actions, then Apply Action. In the Apply an Action window, select the action we just created called 4x3 Centered and press Apply. The action has now been applied to the job. We can automate actions so that they are applied to all incoming jobs. Go to the queue menu, select Properties, and in the Properties dialog, select Layout Manager on the left. Select Show Actions dialog on Import. Now, when a new job is imported, the Apply an Action window appears, and you can select your action of choice. If you don't want the dialog to appear when a job is imported, you may select the option Do Not Show Dialog on Next Import. The action will then be applied only after the Apply button is clicked. You can use actions with more complex step and repeat functions, such as Area Fill. Let's get started. I'll import a file and select it in the queue. In the Job tab in the bottom right, click the Copies button, and then click the Copies button again. This will open the Modify Step and Repeat dialog. I'll select Area Fill, define the area that I want to fill, and then press Apply. You will then see the Step and Repeat preview. To save an action that will create an Area Fill Step and Repeat, right-click on the job with Step and Repeat and click on Actions. Select Create an Action in the Flyout menu. I'll name the action and include the Print Mode, Fixed Size, the setting for Position, Center Horizontally, Number of Page Copies, and a Copy Group Layouts. Finally, click OK, and it's now available in your Actions list. To delete any action, go to the Job menu, select Actions, and from the flyout menu, select Delete an Action. This will bring up the Delete an Action dialog. Select the action you'd like to delete and click the Delete button. This will remove that action from your list of available actions. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Cadlink's products. <laughs>